That is top refuel. Allow my six figures to interrupt your video. That is lobster, shrimp, uh, crab, spinach, and mushroom with some angel hair. Pasta. Looks good. One shrimp. Oh yeah, about to go in. Be sure to check out some of my latest videos. One of my latest videos, G.I. Joe Classified. You also have Spider-Verse Monopoly. And check out one of my favorite videos, like The Grinch Just Stole Christmas. You girls and guys be safe out there and I will catch you later. Peace. And this episode of Direct Edition is brought to you by Lips by Kimmy, Cooking KD, and my fake thoughts mall from China. It's finally here, y'all. Let's get into some statues. Okay, fam, here she is. Wow, like, oh my God, I didn't want to post this on Saturday. Didn't want to post it on Sunday because I didn't want this video to get buried. But my baby is here. Oh, oh my God, Aroa. Aroa Monroe Storm. Wow. And I'm so excited about having this statue because this statue is uh, very beautiful. Um, this is one of the statues where I could probably put out in my front room and people won't even notice that it's actually comic book themed because I got a lot of African art in my front room. Just look at that. Just look at that product shot. And that is exactly how she looks. That product shot uh, captures her perfectly. So let's read it. Aurora Monroe, aka Storm, is one of the most famous and powerful mutants on the planet. A... Star Wars member of the X-Men uh, with the ability to control elements, Storm has also been worshipped as a goddess, queen of Wakanda, and as a member of both the Avengers and the Fantastic Four. She is one of the X-Men's most senior leaders uh, by using her powers over weather. Storm is able to manipulate the winds around her and take to the skies and give herself the ability to fly. This gallery diorama of Storm is based on, the appearance, uh, based on her appearance in Marvel Comics it is made of high quality PVC features, detail sculpting, and paint applications designed by Caesar, sculpted by Alejandro Parada, which is very cool. You guys ready? All right, let's get into it. Now the box is jacked up. Allow my six fingers to interrupt your video. A little jacked up. But see, when I get the Diamond Select uh, Gallery statues, I, these are the only ones that I break out. Anything else, I'm not unboxing. I'm actually keeping mint on card. So you see how cool the box is. You know, you got the clear window, Storm. You got Storm, you know, the back piece. And uh, yeah, you guys ready? Let's get her out the package. Oh my God, it's been a long time since I've been able to bring you guys a statue. Um, this one is my favorite by, by far, period. Out of all of them, and I got a couple statues. Um, I love the women's statues, but this one captures um, a voluptuous woman just the way I want it. Well, she's still neck and neck with, uh, well, uh, Poison Ivy's right behind her. Poison Ivy, I ain't gonna lie, that's a nice statue. But this Storm statue, especially like she's coming out of a whirlwind, the cape, the outfit, this is from Giant Size X-Men, I guess. Her first appearance. You would think that this is flexible plastic, but it's kind of hard. So I'm a little scared to keep on, you know, touching it. But look at the hair, just white hair. They could have did a little paint. Did it? They did do a little paint job in the hair. It, uh, it doesn't show you it, it, but it's a little gray in the hair. Look at that face, though. See, this is this is the main reason why I like this statue. That face. That face is awesome. That body is awesome. What is this? What is this, a defect in my statue? This little paint defect right here. Still awesome. Got a little storm booty. I'm glad they didn't give a padunk a dunk but they gave her those Mother Earth hips. Yeah, this is my favorite. This is my favorite statue because I'm such a big fan of Storm. Uh, when it comes to Storm, or when it comes to superheroines, it's Storm, and right after her is Wonder Woman. 
and I love the fact that uh, when they did the DC Marvel crossover, uh, they put Storm from, they actually made her Amazon. She was actually from uh, Chemistera, wherever uh, Wonder Woman is from. The diorama is okay, but I'm more the statue fan. So awesome. What you guys think? Look at the muscles. Come book window. Yours is coming. As soon as I get some extra money, I gotta get yours. Love the cape. It's just a different material. It's not very flexible. What you guys think? I think she's very awesome. I think I'll, my favorite part is her midriff. I love this area. It's very awesome. Got a little paint defect right here. But uh, other than besides that, I'm, I'm in love. Probably gonna put her uh, with the rest of uh, her friends up here. So let's do a size comparison. You want to? Yeah, let's do a size comparison. Let's do this. And his Storm is compared to the Goblin Queen, which is my, oh my God, Goblin Queen and Storm are neck and neck as far as my favorite. They are awesome. And you got Angela, which is Thor. We found out that was Thor's sister. Spawn number nine to first appearance. Very awesome. Oh, the Goblin Queen is still sexy as shit. Oh, excuse my expression, you know. But kids are not supposed to be on my channel. But yeah, her and the Goblin Queen, they run a neck and neck in uh, sexiness. Let's compare her to uh, Poison Ivy. And here she is, and here she is compared to my favorite statue, which is uh, Poison Ivy. Out of scale, totally out of scale. That Poison Ivy is awesome. Poison Ivy, I, I, I can't figure out which one's my favorite out of her, Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy giving her a run for her money, but still, very awesome. Are right, you guys ready? All right, let's do this. And so, once again, I'd like to thank you guys and girls for tuning in to another episode of Direct Edition, the Challenge for All Direct Edition. Shout out to my boy, Low Budget Comics. He uh, actually shouted me out and sent me a couple subs. You girls and guys be safe out there, and I pray that everything you touch be successful, and I will catch you girls and guys later. Be safe out there. Peace.